Good evening, York School District 1. It's Friday, September the 3rd, and I'd like to take this opportunity to provide you with a few highlights from this week. Last week, I reported that we had 95 current student cases of COVID. This week, however, I'm very excited to share that that number has decreased to 77. In addition, last week, I reported that we had 785 quarantine cases. This week, that number has reduced to 556. Parents, I'd like to remind you that there are two ways that a student can avoid being a close contact and having to quarantine. The first is to be vaccinated if they're old enough, and the second is to remain at least three feet from other students, and for both the infected student and the exposed student to both be wearing a mask. That's the reason that last Monday night, our board passed our mask requirement. The mask requirement specifically asks students and parents to wear a mask when adequate social distancing is not possible while inside our district facilities. This does not mean that they have to wear them outside. Outdoor events and activities are excluded. We appreciate your compliance with this request. It certainly appears to have helped us reduce our positives and our quarantines. As we await the Supreme Court decision, we will continue to not provide any consequences or there be any enforcement of this mandate, but we are urging you to continue to comply. Parents, I'd also like to ask your help with our sub situation. We're constantly needing substitutes to help us on days that staff have to be out. If you or someone in your family, neighborhood, or community is interested in being a part of the York School District 1 team and serving as a substitute, I would encourage you to apply through Kelly Services. I'd also like to give a shout out to our entire York School District 1 family. When you have over 20% of your students going out and coming in due to COVID-related reasons, it can be a heavy burden. Our teachers have done a phenomenal job keeping up with assignments, giving students work, giving them access to Canvas, posting assignments. Teachers, thank you for that. Our nurses have done an exceptional job tracking our COVID data while on the same time taking care of their regular nurse duties. Thank you. I hesitate to list any group because I don't want to leave anyone out, but thank you for the successes of this week. I ask you to continue to please help us. Partnering together, we can return to a nor more normal school year. As you go into the Labor Day holiday, remember your mitigation strategies. Have fun. Enjoy your family. We look forward to seeing you Tuesday. Have a great weekend.